La storia della Via Lattea, la nostra galassia, si è arricchita negli ultimi anni di moltissimi dettagli, oggetti e scenari prima pressoché sconosciuti ed è giocando sulla metafora del racconto, della fiaba e dei suoi protagonisti che si sono riuniti in questi giorni, da lunedì 27 a venerdì 31 maggio 2024, all'area della ricerca di Bologna, i maggiori esperti al mondo di Via Lattea per mettere a confronto le loro ricostruzioni e la loro lettura di questo racconto galattico. Ne parliamo con Else Starkenburg, astrofisica all'Università di Groningen nei Paesi Bassi. So once upon a time the Milky Way was a baby galaxy. So I am very interested to to learn about this very very early history of uh, the Milky Way and combining wonderful data sets that we have of how stars move in the Milky Way but also what they are made of. We can try to reconstruct uh, the past of uh, the galaxy all the way to the very very early ages. And so I'm very excited to be here in Bologna to talk to my colleagues and really try to put all of these pieces of the puzzle together to understand the bigger picture of, uh, of how our galaxy formed and get the tale of its origin um, really clear to, uh, to us. And who are your favorite characters in the tale? So, of course, my favorite character in this is the very, very young uh, Milky Way. But then there's these other galaxies that have come in during its life that have merged with this Milky Way progenitor um, and that have really let it grow and grow bigger and bigger over time until the, the quite impressive galaxy that we see nowadays on the night sky. And finally, what's going to happen at the end of the tale? What's going to happen at the end of this still? So the, the, the galaxy that, we, that is the Milky Way is actually moving towards our neighboring galaxy, uh, the Andromeda galaxy. So we know there's going to be an, another episode in its life where it's going to merge together with this neighboring galaxy and become an even bigger system. Um, that will be a, a crazy uh, sky that we have then, but that's only like 4 billion years in the future. So we have to wait for that to happen a long time. <laughs>